Welcome to Popular Cruising. You're watching our review of the Norwegian Blitz from Norwegian Cruise Line. The ship takes the best elements from the American market's earlier Norwegian escape and Chinese market's preceding Norwegian joy and blends them together perfectly. And with it comes a wide variety of accommodations, starting with studio staterooms designed for solo travelers. These inside cabins comfortably sleep just one in a modular configuration with a sink and shower in the bedroom, but thankfully no single supplement, and a toilet compartment that at least is separate. These coveted accommodations also come with exclusive access to a studio lounge for enjoying refreshments and mingling among fellow solo travelers. Then there are regular inside staterooms like those for families. Complete with the ship's standard bathroom layout of a moderately sized shower enclosure that's easy to turn around in, next to a tighter toilet and sink space, outfitted with shelves that could honestly be a bit deeper. Also available are ocean view staterooms with large picture windows. In addition to extra space, Forward-facing varieties can't be beat for their breathtaking vistas over the bow. Or maybe they can if you're a family looking for that much more extra room. These cabin types even come with a different kind of bathroom, with lovely dual sinks and a shower-tub combo. Other categories of course include balcony cabins. Some cabinet storage can be lacking, but these accommodations can be upgraded with more room into mini-suites with balconies that are just that much longer. And also include an enhanced bathroom with a dual sink basin and sizable shower featuring premium body massage jets. Offering a similar bathroom with slightly different decor is the Haven Spa Suite with balcony. The bedroom is particularly special, though, for featuring its own hot tub. There's also the Haven Penthouse with balcony, featuring a separate handsome living room, a welcome corner veranda, a comfortable master bedroom, and a plush master bathroom with a tub and separate shower and toilet enclosures. Additionally available is the Haven Courtyard Penthouse, seen here in an accessible configuration ideal for wheelchair access. Bigger still is the Haven two-bedroom family villa, with its wonderful living area, sizable master bedroom, An equally spacious master bathroom with a scenic bathtub and shower. Not to mention the second bedroom with its own standard bathroom. But the creme de la creme on board is the Haven Deluxe Owner Suite with its palatial living room. Bedroom with amazing views immediately to the outside. And a very ornate bathroom. With a decorative bathtub. And a shower with ocean vistas. And if that's not enough, guests in Haven accommodations get exclusive access to their own section of the ship, including the courtyard sun deck, the incredible courtyard itself with its very own pool, two-level interior lounge, naturally with bar service, A complete private restaurant with an in 
indoor and outdoor section, and the scenic double-decker Horizon Lounge with an upper loft and lower panorama. Of course, there are still plenty of activities available to everyone on board, encompassing yet another double-decker observation lounge. And this public variety is even larger, with even more to see and do. Including simply resting and relaxing. The forward section of expansive glass is definitely the most impressive. The venue is praiseworthy overall for being showcased at a time when too many competitors are doing away with the classic feature altogether. After all, it's truly a marvelous spot to simply take in the passing scenery. So major kudos to Norwegian for including it. Heading back downstairs, there's first the kids' clubs. Starting with guppies for the littlest ones. Complete with waiting and play areas. It's a fun and colorful space. As a splash academy for older kids, even though it's temporarily being used for storage on our sailing. Meanwhile, Entourage is just for teens. With the dance floor and video gaming geared just for them. as well as the likes of foosball and air hockey. And just down the hallway for kids of all ages is the video arcade. With its own wide variety. Including the latest as well as some classics. such as ski ball and basketball. And for a more adult equivalent, there's the Bliss Casino. With lots of table games and slot machines. Best of all though, it's now free of cigarette fumes, thanks to an entirely separate and enclosed smoking section. It's yet another feature that additional ships should mimic, to appease smokers and non-smokers alike. Smokers also have the Humidor Cigar Lounge all to themselves. Otherwise, guest services in the atrium serve as the open and airy hub of the ship. Our whole artist Wyland is seen here doing meet and greets. Also just nearby is the Connect Internet Cafe. For those who didn't bring their own Wi-Fi devices. The Central Art Gallery displays pieces that are available for auction. Including aforementioned Wyland, below the ship's secondary atrium. with yet another one of Norwegian's beautiful signature chandeliers. All leading to the ship's stores, including one just for Alaska, as well as a Jimmy Buffett one. and friendly smiling crew. The photo gallery uses a binder system for easily finding your images.
or to do some window shopping from the outside and enjoy alfresco dining and entertainment, there's the waterfront. An uninterrupted promenade deck that wraps around the bulk of the ship. and looks up to the cantilevered water slides above. It's the perfect place to take in some outside air. And for pampering of a different kind, there's the Mandara Spa, with its soothing waters, Therapeutic loungers with a view. Chilly snow room. Sensory salt room. Classic sauna. and treatment rooms. There's even a barber shop, as well as beauty salon. In addition to an extensive fitness center, and motion studio. Outside, the pool deck is delightfully more open than on earlier ships. Making for far more room for deck chairs in between. In lieu of a full-blown ropes course on board, the kids' aqua park features climbing elements as well as interactive water ones. Plus a child-friendly water slide. Just above is a jogging track and hot tubs. In addition to the larger Aqua Racer water slide. Seen here on a warm water descent that steamed up both my camera and my glasses just a bit. Nonetheless, it sure was a fun ride. Finishing the jogging track to the other side, of course, brings you to the even more thrilling Ocean Loops Water Slide. With its speedy descent into a figure eight of twists and turns, including sections suspended over the side of the ship, and multiple uphills and downhills. Cameras aren't allowed on board, but you can see just how much momentum riders gain here from start to finish. Suffice it to say, it sure is a blast. For more tranquil endeavors, there's Spice H2O and its Waterfall Grotto. While I miss the themed rock work found on the Norwegian Escape, the water feature is still a welcome one has our additional hot tubs. And the overall area reserved just for adults. 
there are even additional hot tubs found at the public sun deck. Or alternatively, at the private Vibe Beach Club sun deck. Those looking for some classic physical activities can head on over to table tennis. Or there's also a small mini golf course. But chances are, you'll be most inclined to try the racetrack. For full go-kart action uniquely on top of a cruise ship. I mean, just check out how fun it can be from this POV. Or if you prefer, there are areas where you can just watch from afar. But let's be honest, this is really the best. And if you have the chops to get ahead, the track can be all yours. For a final lap to the finish line. and the victory of first place. And another unique experience on board is laser tag. In an awesome open air science fiction themed arena on the top deck. Where it's game on to rack up points. And also check out the great detail. as two teams battle it out. It's definitely worth giving it a shot. And then after working up an appetite, it's time to go grab some food. There are lots of dining and drink options, like the Sun Deck Bar, appropriately off the Laser Tag Arena. Similarly, the Surf Bar serves drinks poolside. And across the way, the Waves Bar does the same. All for cooling off under the sun. Or for more shade to begin with, the Spice H2O bar caters to the adults only area. But if it's grab you're after, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville at Sea has you covered. And it's perfectly nautical themed outdoor eatery. Complete, of course, with its own chill bar. Serving everything from delicious margaritas, nachos, and pretzels, to naturally the cheeseburger in paradise itself. The first of the ship's signature specialty restaurants is just across the way in the form of Le Bistro.
the French dining room occupies the space used on other ships by the video arcade. Here giving diners a much better view. Delightfully located where a spa normally would be, the Garden Cafe Buffet shares a forward-facing view with the observation lounge below. Even overlooking that venue's great stretch of glass. Altogether making for a wonderful dining experience. With the likes of tasty pizza and pretzels to match. The Manhattan Room is one of the ship's complimentary main restaurants. Nestled in a stylish Art Deco space. Saver is one of the other included main dining rooms. Smaller in scale, but just as nice. And Taste is the third, mirrored on the other side. While the mix bar in between is ready to serve drinks before and after dinner. The local bar and grill is where you'll find onboard bowling, more video games, another watering hole, and additional complimentary cuisine. New in the Norwegian Bliss is Q Texas Smokehouse. For barbecue favorites, along with live music on stage, there's even a full Starbucks location on board. But unlike your neighborhood variety, this one has a view to the sea. Or for drinks with more punch, there's the adjacent atrium bar. Also fresh on the list is Coco's. For specialty chocolates and other treats. such as tempting milkshakes. Also coming along for the ride is Norwegian favorite, teppanyaki. With tons in the way of action tables. Also repeated is the district brew house. With lots of great beers on tap. And spectacular vistas to enjoy them by. Or get in on the photo booth action. On the opposite side of the ship is Food Republic. An interactive specialty restaurant for ordering tapas-style dishes off iPads. Such as these wonderfully eclectic flavors. Drinks also continue at the Maltings Whiskey Bar. Yet another example of the ship's masterful interior design. As is the Cellar's Wine Bar, to enjoy and learn about Michael Mandavi family vintages.
next door to which is La Cucina. Another specialty restaurant for Italian cuisine. Also off from the secondary atrium is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. For partaking in another beverage style. But across the way might be my all-time favorite venue design on board. As the specialty ocean blue seafood restaurant absolutely shines with style. It's just perfect how the Jules Verne-esque Art Deco aesthetic is playfully accentuated by the creative seagull light fixtures. And don't forget that outside along the waterfront is still Dolce Gelato. And inside from it is the Tempting Bake Shop. Our region has also reprised its classic Cagney Steakhouse on board. Again, bringing to the elegant space favorite courses like these. On the way over to one final restaurant is the A-List Bar, named after Norwegian Cruise Line President and CEO Andy Stewart. Rounding up the ship's specialty dining rooms is the new Los Lobos. The rich, colorful decor lends itself well to great Mexican food like this. Last but not least, among the watering holes is Skyline Bar. Perfectly surrounded by screens for checking out sports at the casino. But of course that's just one entertainment option on board. There's also the Cavern Club for live music. particularly the Beatles Tribute Band. Which of course can be enjoyed with a drink in hand. Then there's the social Comedy and Nightclub, which from its title is pretty self-explanatory. That is, you can expect a pair of stand-up comedians before a DJ takes over. As you can see here, it also makes for a good conference space. But the main shows take place in the Bliss Theater. The absolute best of which is Jersey Boys, as one of the greatest live performances I've ever seen on a cruise ship. But also still very good is Havana. with its own wonderful singing, dancing, costumes, and set design, not to mention a most appreciated live orchestra. Enjoy this visual sampler to see what we mean.
Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.